Missing 76 year old woman from Salt Lake City and a missing 83 year old man from South Jordan were both safely located last week. Bessie McBurridge and Gerald Vincent are the latest examples of the difference being made by Utah's new silver alert system. Silver alert law went into effect in May, but Orem police were not aware of it when 80 year old Alzheimer's patient Robert Jones drove away from his home on June 16th. How come an, a silver alert was not issued in this case? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, I don't even know what a, what, what a silver alert would be. You want to fill me in on that a little bit? <laughs> it's, an, it's like an amber alert, but for elderly people, and it's uh, a new Utah state law as of this year. Following that interview, the Orem PD did issue Utah's first ever silver alert, and Mr. Jones was found safely three hours later in Wilder, Idaho, after meandering an estimated 1,600 miles through Utah, Nevada, and Oregon. The director of Utah's Bureau of Criminal Investigations says Utah is slowly getting accustomed to the alerts for missing seniors 60 and over or anyone with dementia or Alzheimer's. I think law enforcement agencies and the public are, are a little more familiar with it. Field Service Supervisor Mandy Biesinger took me through the process of how the BCI issues the alerts to police departments, media outlets, and Utah Department of Transportation road signs. So once that's been submitted, this is what's going to then go out to all law enforcement as well as what you'll be seeing in the media. In six months, there have been 20 silver alerts issued and 19 of those subjects have been found safe, a 95% success rate. The only unresolved case is 71-year-old Carol Stratton who walked away from her Cedar City home in October. She has not been found and is presumed dead. As for the 19 people who did come home, Director Wilmore says the public deserves the credit. I think we've got a, a good system built and it's getting better, but the, you know, the, the people that actually pay attention to the, to the road signs, the media, and the descriptors and things like that, and then, and then take the time to call something in or to, to, to take that action, that's, that's where it really counts. Especially for family members like Robert Jones' daughter who got her father back. Well, it's just nice to give him a big hug. Just, you know, good to see you, Dad. He just said, sure, happy that I'm home. Representative Lee Perry sponsored the silver alert bill during the 2019 legislative session after one of his constituents had an elderly family member go missing. Well, it's so good to see that it is working. Yeah.